I think what was amazing about this project was you really felt you were making a piece of art. The biggest challenges really with making these uh, characters was the sheer scale um, of the puppets. I mean, we decided upon 11 foot fairly early on, but uh, that sort of brings with it two things. One is the actual physicality of the puppeteers around the puppet, but also the weight of the puppet on the puppeteers. The, the puppet is made up of a vast range of different techniques. You've got the carbon fibre structure, the engineering of the Delrin, the electronics. The reason why we used 3D printing for the exoskeleton was for a weight reason. We could ensure that it was two and a half millimetres in thickness of the whole puppet. It's like 6.8 kilograms for the whole exterior, which is quite incredible, helping the puppeteers immensely. 3D printing is very similar to our own printers. It sort of has a head that heats up and then immediately cools plastic, as you would with printing ink, um, but on many, many layers. It basically builds a 3D printed image. You really don't understand when you get this cake of, of dust. It's like an archaeological dig, brushing away and revealing this skeleton that, that you've created. It's an amazing feeling. The entire project obviously is what it looks like, but how it moves is, is almost a bigger part because if it doesn't move, it's a sculpture, and when it begins to move, it comes to life. The project from beginning to end was hugely ambitious, and nobody, including myself, really knew until we saw the characters on the camera that, that we were gonna succeed.